Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today I have a video that's a little bit special for you guys. Now, you're seeing a lot of Arteza products and you're probably wondering, oh, Miss Coffee went and got some Arteza products. Yes and no. All right, so it is my honor to announce that I am now an official affiliate with Arteza. Arteza is an art supply company. They, they have a wide array of stuff between color pencils, uh, gel pens, markers, paint, you name it, they probably got it. So they asked me to not only be an affiliate, but to show off a couple of the items that they do have for sale. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're actually having a sale today, which is Tuesday, August 6th of 2019, in case you're watching this like further in the future. So they are technically sponsoring, would well, not technically, they are sponsoring this video for you guys today. So they sent me out a couple of products that they would like for me to show you guys so that you guys can see some of the things that they offer and go check them out for yourself, uh, starting from Friday, actually. If you look down in the description box, there is an affiliate link uh, for the U.S. and the U.K. for Arteza um, art supplies. So when you go to those links, uh, I do have a special code that will save you 10% off. It is Craft Crochet One. That code is valid until September 8th of 2019. So please feel free to shop and be merry. But with that said, I'm going to show you a few of the products that they sent me, and maybe we'll test some products out. One thing I'm really excited for, if it wasn't for everything already, one thing I'm super excited for is this. Now, I have gel pens. Like, I have Arteza gel pens, like the regular ones. I have Color It gel pens. But these are the Arteza Vibrant Color Smear Proof Non-Toxic Acid-Free Retractable Gel Pens. Now, this is how they came. And on the back here, You'll see it gives you the name of all the colors. So that's pretty cool. And it tells you that there's 20 retractable pins in there. So let's see if we can get in this. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. So it looks like a regular gel pin. It does say Arteza. I like that. Um, I do wish they had the color name on it, but that's okay. So we're going to flip through, and I just pulled out one of my books that I thought maybe I could doodle in real quick to show you guys. So yeah, so we're going to pick a gel pen. Ooh, I love that. And of course, again, you can always go on the back and see which one is which. Uh, the only issue I see is that it, it has like an A103 number and stuff on it, but the pen itself doesn't. So it makes it a little bit difficult trying to figure out which color is which. Um, you can also, sorry, you can also scan the QR codes. One gives you 20% off, one gives you helpful hints. So let's see how these gel pens work. Now, when you open an Arteza gel pen, they have these little caps on them. Do you see the little cap? You just pull it off with your nail, just like that. The little cap came off. And we're gonna scribble a little bit because you know sometimes things don't work right away. So we're just gonna, ooh, they write really smooth. We're just gonna color in this little dot here. And there we have it. All right, so I'm gonna get out my big artist book. We're gonna get some of this stuff out the way. Don't worry, I will show you everything I got here so we're gonna pull out the artist book we're gonna do a couple of little swatches don't mind the stuff in the book so for the gel pens as you can see they do write pretty smooth Let's try another color here. And in the little case, I like how, I don't know if you can see it. It's on a piece of plastic there. So that keeps all the pens in place. And for a minute there, I thought I had two black. So let's see. Oh, remember to take off the plastic cap. 
I'm so excited. I, I, I can't even remember to do like the simplest things. All right. Those are some nice gel pens. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. All right, let's try this purple one. Again, we're gonna have to take the cap off. I like that protective cap because it keeps it from leaking or creating any kind of mess in the container. So you can keep it in this little container if you want or put it in your own organization tool that you have. So we're gonna scribble here a little bit. Ooh, I like that color. All right, so that is the 20 pack of the Vibrant Retractable Color Gel Pens, and they are the premium ones. So let's scoot you out a little bit. Next thing we have are the 36 Portrait Tone Blendable Alcohol-Based Ink ret uh, Replaceable Tip Non-Toxic uh, Skin Tone Markers. Sorry, losing my train of thought here. And you can see the reflection, but it gives you all the color names and stuff there. Now, this is my first time using Arteza markers. I do not currently have Arteza markers, so this will be new for both of us. So I don't know what to, ooh, okay, I don't know what to expect here. First thing I notice is it is a triangular uh, marker, so no rolling. Oh, oh okay, I guess I lied. So no rolling when you sit it down. Don't just throw it down because obviously it'll roll and now it's gonna make a liar out of me. Either way. And it has it on there. It tells you that one side's a brush tip and then one side's a nib tip. And these are nib tip markers, as you can see. I do like how it has the little indicator here. Ooh, they smell good. I like how it has an indicator here to let you know which side is the nib tip and then this side is plain, so that's the chisel tip. And then on it, Thank you, good gravy. All right, so let's see if I can get you to focus a little bit here. There we go. It tells you the name, Desert Rose. I love the fact that it has the name on it. So let's see how it writes. Ooh, it's nice to hold. That fits perfectly in my hand. Really nice, smooth markers. Let's do a little scribble here. They don't look like they bleed too much. Let's grab a book quick and see if we can find a face. And we're just gonna find a random page. And I always put papers behind uh, the pages just in case they bleed. So we're gonna find a different skin tone color because I don't think Desert Rose is gonna go nice with her. So let's see, get you guys a little mini demonstration here. Let's go with Porcelain Peach. Love that. And we're just gonna, let's say we're gonna go for her leg here. Ooh, okay, so it's not, they don't bleed a whole lot like some other markers do and I'm just lightly touching the page with it. And I like to outline my projects before I color in like the full area. And again, this is porcelain peach. And then we're just gonna use the nib or the brush tip to see how that works in there. The brush tip is really nice. It's not super, it doesn't bleed a, a lot either. I've, I've noticed with some of my other markers that they tend to bleed a lot uh, with the brush tip end. We're gonna give that a second to dry. Because they are alcohol based, they do dry a little quick. And again, it has 36 colors. So they come in this cool little case and they all have their name and numbering system on the top. 
Now, I probably won't keep it in the plastic container for long, but it is nice that they do come like this. It also helps protect it in shipping because you guys know they get jostled around a lot. This way, they don't get jostled around. So nice, thick plastic container that it comes in. And let's take a look at that leg. <laughs> that actually looks really good. Like that is spot on. Wow. Okay. All right, Arteza. All right. All right. Let's try a gray tone. Now this is 36 gray tones. Okay. And it says they're blendable. So we're going to test this theory. Now I've been practicing my blending. So I'm just going to pull out this first sheet here. We're gonna get a dark color, which is Storm Gray. Love that name. We're then gonna pull out Cloudy Gray. I love the triangular shape of it. And then a power, powder blue, I'm sorry. We, all right, we gotta get you to focus. There we go powder blue. All right. So let's see. We're going to use our chisel tip. Ooh, that's a pretty color. And then we're going to go for the next color here. And this is cloudy gray. All right. And then we're gonna go for this storm gray. And then we're gonna go back over all three of those with the first color, which is the powder blue. And we're gonna go over, and you see how it's already blending here? Let's get you down in the business. Look at that. That is so cool. So we're gonna do one line. One line. One line. And you see how it's blending right there? Wow, that is so cool. All right. Oh, yep, that was the right one. And then you just go over the two. So yeah, so that is the 36 gray tones that they have. Oh, I'm putting stuff in the wrong spot. So again, because I am an affiliate, I do have to let you know that if you do order under my links, I do make a small commission off of what you buy. So if you would like to buy from Arteza and use my links and codes, please be aware that I do get a small commission. And of course, that any commission helps me with the channel, so I would greatly appreciate it if you did use the links. So yes, yeah, so there we have it. Those are the 36 gray tones the 36 portrait tones, which are skin tones. And then we have 20 retractable gel pens. The last thing we have are the fine liners. Now, the fine liners are used in sketching. Now, you guys, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you would have seen that I was actually going to draw you guys a flower. But my husband, being the artist that he is, um, decided he wanted to test them out because he's an artist. So this flower here was done with the Arteza fine liners and they sent me out the 102 pack of fine liners and they might be a little jostled in here because it was sitting sideways. So there we have it. Look at the color choices in there. We got some pastels. We got vibrant colors, pastels, and then we have these muted, more muted colors. Trying to get them all in frame here. Lift you up a little bit. So look at these. 
These are also in the triangular form. Again, it's a 0.4 tip on them. They do say Arteza Fine Liner. I do wish, again, that these had the color names on them. And even though they don't, that's fine. But I just want to show you. And this is one of the ones I drew. Don't, don't laugh at my flower, okay? When he, when he was showing me his, I was trying to draw one, and that's what got came out of it. So they do write nice and smooth. And fine liners, because, because I don't see myself drawing anything, um, I would normally use fine liners for fine details in things, like in pictures that I'm coloring. So like take, for instance, the Hello Kitty book. And I have to thank Stitcherisa for this because she said it in her video yesterday when she did the flip through of Hello Kitty and Friends, which is the book I got from my girl Crafting with Christy. Thank you again, Christy. Thank you also, Stitcherista, for this idea. The fine liners are for these small details. So what you would do is you obviously pick a color. We're going to go for these leaves, so I want a darker color here. And unlike a marker where it will, you know, eventually bleed out and all that, these fine liners get into these fine, tiny little spaces. Then I'm going to see if I can find a darker green. We're going to move this art book out the way. Working with limited space here, folks. All right, so we're going to... If we can find a darker green there we go so then we're going to take this darker green we're going to slide that off to the side here and we're just going to etch on the side here oh sorry might help if you could see what i was doing So I'm going to go back to that first color. Let me grab that first marker because apparently I put it away because that was a good idea. All right. So for the fine liners, because when I first got these, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be drawing something with these or what. And then uh, Mr. Coffee drew me that flower and I was like, okay, well, that's pretty cool. But I, I'm not an artist in any means. Um, so then when Stitcherisa said using the fine liners for these fine details, it clicked. I was like, oh, well, yeah, duh. Like, you would use the fine liners for the small details. So, there you have it. So, that is the fine liners from the Arteza brand. And they come in this cool case. They come like the color pencils do. Because I do have the Arteza 36 pack of their color pencils. So I would love to get some more of their color pencils. But those are the 102 fine liners that you get in this set. So for all my coloring fans out there that are looking for a good product that isn't going to break the bank. Because I know, you know... Art supplies can get expensive, okay? So Arteza is trying to go for having the quality of some of the higher brands without the price tag. And it's really, really nice that they're doing that. I also have to give them a big thank you for sending me all this out to show you guys. I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, Arteza. Their YouTube channel is also linked down below underneath my affiliate links. Again, there's an affiliate link for the UK and for the US. So happy shopping there. Please don't forget to use that discount code to get 10% off your purchase with Craft Crochet One. Again, that is only valid until September 8th of this year, which is 2019. Uh, do keep in mind again, one last time, that if you do use those links and stuff, because I am an official affiliate, I will get a small commission off of what you spend. So anything that you can do is greatly appreciated. So with that said, that's it for me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these beautiful products from Arteza. Again, thank you so much, Arteza, for sending this all out to me. I greatly appreciate it. 
I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. With that said, I'm going to remind you that if you're not ready, already a subscriber and would like to subscribe, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I'm going to bid you all adieu and remind you, like I always try to, to please try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.